Hello, 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 kids. It is me, Dr. Sominex. <laughs> you all haven't seen Professor Von Himmel, have you? No? Well, he told me that we were supposed to work on our top secret project today. Well, I guess he should be arriving here any minute. I, well, I guess I'll just, you know, wait a minute. <laughs> Dr. Summonix! Dr. Summonix! You, you kids haven't seen Dr. Summonix, have you? Oh, there he is, sleeping as usual. Help me wake him up, kids. Dr. Summonix? Dr. Dr. Summonix! Oh, top secret time travel! <laughs> Dr. Summonix, you can't shout out our scientific secrets every time you wake up. Oh, well, I was just, I was just dreaming, and then I woke up, and oh, you're here. Yes, well, I am I am here, but I may have to leave. I have some very important business in Austria, and so I might be called away at any moment. So I will need you to be my Elisha and take over. Uh, Elijah, wasn't that the prophet that stood up to the prophets of Baal? Oh, no, no, that was Elijah with a J. This is Elisha with a J. Uh, uh, what's the difference? One has a J, and the other has a Sh. Yeah. Uh, but also, Elisha was Elijah's helper. Oh, so I'll be your helper. Exactly, exactly. So you put on this sign. Okay. And uh, you'll be Elisha. And I will put on this sign, and you are my assistant. So that's your sign. Wow, a sign from God. No, it's, it's just from me. Oh, <laughs> okay. Assistant Elisha reporting for duty for Master Elijah. What is my first task, Master Elijah? Your first task is to get the Bible out of the toolbox. Uh, yes. Your <laughs> wish is my command. <laughs> oh, power, power, wonder-making power. Wow, I wonder <laughs> what story the Bible has in store for us today. Oh, let's find out. Oh, here's a good one. When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind, Elijah and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Oh, holy tornado watch. What a way to start the story. <laughs> Do you think God will really take him to heaven? Of course. God had promised, and God always keeps his promises. Oh. Elijah, that's me, uh, said, said, stay here, and the Lord has sent me to Bethel. But Elisha, that's you, yes. said, as surely as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. So they went to Bethel together. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Right, off to Bethel. All right. do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, lovely. Wow. Now, when they got to Bethel, the Lord said to Elijah, go to Jericho. Well... I'm coming with you. Let's go to Jericho. All right, off we go to Jericho. Right. <laughs> oh. Wow, this looks a lot like Bethel. It does look familiar, yes. <laughs> now, when they got to Jericho, the Lord said to Elijah, go to the Jordan River. Well, guess who's coming along? <laughs> I come. Wow, I hope we get frequent flyer miles. Yeah, we're doing some traveling. Now, everywhere the two of them went, all the other prophets would stop Elisha and tell him that the Lord was going to take his master, Elijah, away from him. And Elisha kept saying, I know, but let's not talk about it. It's a secret. But when they got to the Jordan River, everybody was watching. They knew God, what God was going to do, something exciting. And everyone wanted to see what it would be. Elijah rolled up his cloak and struck the water. Whoa! And guess what happened? <laughs> his cloak got soaked. No. I mean, yes, but no. No, but the water parted just like the Red Sea. And then Elijah asked his servant, Elisha, tell me, what can I do for you before I am taken from you? Guess what Elisha asked for? A puppy! <laughs> Yes. No, a puppy, no. He asked for a double portion of Elijah's spirit. Wow, Elijah told Elisha that if, uh, no, I, I, that's amazing. He could have asked for anything at all. Anything. But what he really wanted was to serve God just like Elijah did, with a double portion of Elijah's spirit? Yes, and Elijah, that's me, told Elisha that if he saw him, if you were to see him taken up to heaven, 
you would get his wish. Well, if that's the case, I'm not letting you out of my sight. Oh, and neither did Elisha. And that is why he was there to see this description found in the Bible. Now listen up. As they were walking along and talking together, suddenly a chariot of fire and horses of fire appeared and separated the two of them. And Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. Wow, that must have looked so cool. Uh, like this. Whoa! Whoa! It's a war wind! Oh, oh have fun in heaven, Elijah! All right, so no! <laughs> and Elijah went up to heaven to be with the Lord. But as he did, Elijah left his cloak behind. I'm going to hold on to this. <laughs> the Bible says that Elisha went right back to the shore of the Jordan River. He rolled up Elijah's cloak and struck the water with it. And guess what happened? Oh, uh, wait, wait. Let me guess. Um... He, um, uh, the river parted, and Elisha crossed over the dry land just like Elijah did. <laughs> yes, and everyone watched. No, the river parted, and Elisha crossed over dry land just like Elijah did. Yes, and everyone who was watching that day knew that God had given the spirit of Elijah to Elisha. Wow, that's a great story. Yeah. <laughs> Elisha asked for the right thing. He wanted to serve God in the ministry that Elijah did in the same way. I felt that way when I decided to use my scientific gifts to serve God. Well, that's right. That makes sense because science is our ministry. Yeah. See, we serve God right here in our laboratory as we research and teach others about this amazing world that God has created. Well, I wonder if any of the kids already serve a, a ministry in some way. I mean, that, that's called a ministry when you yeah, serve God. Yeah, of course they do. God gives everyone gifts and talents and even people to help you serve him. Like, have you kids ever looked at someone else and thought, I want to be like them and serve God like they do? You might be watching your parents or, <laughs> or your grandparents or teachers or, or older friends, your pastor or your worship leader. <laughs> Just like Elisha, you have to keep your eyes on those people and learn from them. <laughs> because God might be calling you to serve him as they do to carry on that ministry. Oh, and speaking of carrying on ministry, we've got to get back to work on our time travel project. Time to go. See you next time, kids. So long.